Welcome back to TND Productions, where we explore the ups, downs, and everything in between when it comes to life abroad. Today, we're diving into a topic which many expats here have strong opinions about. What annoys them about other expats? We gathered responses from Reddit, Facebook, and chat groups. And boy, let me tell you, the gloves came off. But before we begin, if you like this, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit that bell icon to be updated when a new video like this drops. Let's kick things off with Speederman on Reddit, who didn't mince words. Entitlement. You get the bunch who won't acclimate and act like they're better than the country they're in. Yeah, we all met that expat who insists that his way is the best way. Newsflash! You move to a different country. Maybe try appreciating it for what it's worth. Cosmopolite, a Brit living in Mexico, echoed similar frustrations. Brit living in Mexico. Folks who don't attempt to speak the language nor integrate. The expat conclaves often have an exclusivity and superiority complex I find loathsome. It seems like nothing unites people more than the shared disdain for ignorance. Imagine moving to a new country and thinking, Nah, I don't need to learn the language. They'll adapt to me. From our last video, we had a Reddit user named Strict Armadillo 199 He also decided to share his thoughts on this also. Expats who fit in, personality value-wise, to the country they are in and or have privilege there, e.g. highly paid, well-respected job, than shaming and blaming people in different circumstances who aren't happy in said country, or just expecting them to have the experience they did by adjusting their attitude, or joining a local club. Isn't it great when someone's experience is a standard everyone else should live up to? Maybe not so much. Different circumstances lead to different experiences. Let's try to remember that. Over on the r slash Philippines expat subreddit, the complaints kept coming. Opening pace 6239 had this to say. The constant doomsayers. Post anything about Filipina girlfriend and there's always someone that's like oh she only wants your money she doesn't love you blah blah blah. Like yeah there are women here who use men but stop assuming that's everyone's situation. Apparently, some expats can't help but assume the worst in every situation. How about a little bit of optimism, man? Creative stuff, 2238 wasn't holding back either. Pretending to be all tough and alpha male and sticking their fat belly out like they're someone important because they finally have their first woman. Why do so many pretend and lie about their past like military experience? Ah yes, the classic, I'm an expat. So now I'm the toughest guy in the room, syndrome. Can we just leave the egos at the airport please? Let's jump over to Facebook, where Oliver W. had some thoughts. People who come here with the mindset that everything in their home country is done the right and correct way therefore anything that is different is automatically wrong and bad. Isn't it funny how some people move halfway across the world just to say exactly the same? Olia M highlighted another issue that many expats have witnessed. Expats that are Koreanized and think they are superior and Korean way is the right way. It's one thing to adapt to new culture, but when you start believing that it makes you better than others, you might want to check yourself. And who couldn't forget about the territorial expats? Kevin D shared this gem. Some expats give you that look as if you're invading their territory, as if it's their country and they're not visitors like you. Very grumpy. Ah, the irony. You're all visitors, but sure, go ahead and stake your claim. Finally, let's go over to the chat groups where Jessica M 
summed up what many expats are feeling. Over the past decade, it feels like the sense of community dwindled. There's a lot of identity politics and people forget that we are all in this together. We're all far from home, but instead of coming together, it seems like some are more interested in drawing lines in the sand. And we had a couple anonymous contributors. One anonymous contributor shared frustrations with expats who only think about themselves. One of the things that annoys me about uh, foreigners is the self-centered, standalone attitude. If they cannot empathize or show sympathy to people in other uh, situations other than their own. Something else that annoys me about foreigners is the, uh, the, the passive attitude. They, they don't want to stand up for their rights. They don't want to try to make things better for other, other people. So that's kind of uh, selfish. It's a tough world out there and it seems a little empathy and effort can go a long way. Especially when you're living far from home. And here is another take from an anonymous contributor frustrated by expat bar culture. What annoys me most about expats is uh, the fact that uh, a lot of them like to stay at the same bar, same expat bar, week after week, drinking and getting drunk as if there's nothing else to do. When there's a lot to do as an expat, you can get involved in lots of different activities but the same people you will see at the bars drinking every weekend. Now, I like to drink too, but I'm not one to go to a bar every week and get drunk. But when I go to places like that, that's all I ever see are the same people drinking and getting drunk. And it just annoys me. It's like, it's like I want to tell them, get a life, man, get a life, dude. Stop drinking so much. Do something else with your life. Don't drink so much. It's just sad, man. It's really sad. It's hard not to feel that frustration when you see the same faces at the same places, stuck in the same old habits. Well, there you have it. What annoys you about other expats? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to d, &D Productions and hit that little bell icon to get updated when a new video like this drops. See you next time.